Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to go over how I went about making these lead wells for this pipeline style welding rig. Lead wells, also known as welding lead storage bins or, or whatever else you want to call it. It's just where we roll our welding leads up. That way everything's tucked away and hidden. I won't get to it in today's video, but I do plan on making a lid just a basic, simple locking lid, just like I did on my latest welding bed on my truck. If you're new to the channel, check out our website, arosfolding.com. We have an online store where we sell the soapstone that you'll see me use quite a bit in this bed build series, as well as a few other things over there in the store. Also on our website, you can find several helpful resources. And if you wanna stay updated on what's going on around Aros Welding, you can get on our email list they're on the website also. Or you can text the message, keep me updated to our community text number, 405-643-7176. All right, so to kick these lead wells off, the first thing I did was cut out and coped around the fender, the, what I've been calling the inner skirt. Coped that out, tacked it in place. One thing that I tried to do with this Ford specifically, because this is a 2022 Ford, and the bolt holes are down. And so to get to the bolt holes, I left some a gap right here at the beginning of the bed and to where our uh, first lead well started. That way a guy can get his arm and tools up here to this bolt and get that bolt out a lot easier. Once I got the inner skirt all tacked in, the next thing I did was put this outer skirt on, the matching body line. There should be a playlist here on the YouTube channel where you can find the other videos of this build series. And one of those videos is us putting this outer panel on to match the cab of this truck. So go check that out to see what we did there. Alrighty. Now that we got our inside skirt and our outside skirt, it's time to put a bottom in here so our leads don't fall out. <laughs> Next, I went ahead and measured the size of plate that I needed for the bottom. And then I actually took the heads out of my mini jack stands, slid the jack stands underneath, and set that plate up underneath uh, my inner skirt and my outer skirt. And then I got it all situated just right, and then I traced the inside of our lead wells, what's, what's going to end up being our lead wells. That's why I knew, the, knew where to cut it, because it is tapered, it's more narrow at the front of the bed and then it gets a little bit wider as it goes towards the wheels on the pickup. So to make sure I had the angle right, I just cut my bottom plate extra big and then I just traced it along the inside of the outer skirt and the inside of the inner skirt. Next, I measured where I wanted my dividers for our three lead wells and then I laid out several one inch holes for drainage more or less. Used my mag drill punched it looks like uh, nine holes in the bottom of every lead well what's going to be the lead wells once i got my holes drilled i brought the plate back over and tacked the bottom of the plate in all right now that we've got our bottom of our lead well welded in we are now fixing to make some dividers for our lead wells for our leads so i'm making a contour template i guess you could call it i don't know the technical name but out of cardboard and kebab sticks they make these things that are well worth the money i just haven't bought one yet but if a guy's gonna do stuff like this it'd be well worth the money to buy such thing and i will order one someday um, but I really wanted to start this today and Kayla actually had some a whole package of kebab sticks so I just thought you know we've got this warehouse out here the Aros welding store if you don't know about it and uh, we have all these cardboard boxes and then she's got uh, dang I wonder if that's enough and then we had these kebab sticks so we're gonna use them We'll see how it goes. Let's go try her out. All right, so here is where the dividers are gonna go. Like I was saying, for sure, I want one here on the end, and then we'll have one here and one here. So we've got stinger, 
ground remote cord. At minimum, I'm just gonna have this one end cap, but I really kinda wanna put a piece angled back here. After we pull the bed off, of course, I wanna, I wanna angle this because from the front of the bed, whenever you're washing it, it's nice to be able to point your nozzle in here and wash off all the mud versus if we don't put an angle piece there might get there might be mud stuck right here and you can't really get to it that easy because i do plan on putting a little plate in this corner too to wrap around the cab a little bit anyway i haven't decided about that little angle piece but so we're going to try that contour maker right here all right so it's kind of tied over there i just tried it uh, so instead of going over there i'm going to go over here where i still have room use this panel There we have it. Go lay this on our plate outside and cut a little contour. I just thought of something. Need to make sure this is rolled right because that panel was rolled in. So I need to go pull some measurements and make sure our measurements are right. Yeah, see, I was afraid of that. Boy, good catch, ladies and gentlemen, good catch. So that's more like it. Okay, now let's try that. Give her the old tap test, you know, make sure it ain't gonna break off. After I got our front plate in, I went ahead and cut out our other two plates, but I did not cope them like I did the front one, and I tacked those in. Once we got our dividers tacked in, it was time to lay out the top deck that we had already had cut out previously, whenever we did the filler neck video, that should be in the series also. Got all the holes laid out, and cut them out with my torch. All right, moment of truth. Done all this grinding and smoothing. Hope it fits. Good thing about this quarter inch plate is uh, it's gotten lighter and lighter. The more I cut out of it. Oh man, looky there. I done forgot to take my caps off. I was so excited to get this on here. Tootin' tootin'. 
Tell me that ain't satisfying. Ooh, can't wait to get you over here to look down in here. I mean, this is just, I mean, exciting now. Plum exciting. Looks like I'm gonna have to put some plate in here. So whenever I put that inner skirt, I didn't come to the top of the, I just went underneath that three inch angle. I didn't notch it out. And I don't like the way that looks because you can just see daylight. Although it's one of them practical things that might be handy to be able to get in here and undo a hose clamp or something. But as far as glancing at it, I don't like how you can see junk back there. So you can see them gaps. Not loving that, but other than that, once I got all the holes cut out, I took a sanding pad and a grinding rock and cleaned all these up nice and smooth and uh, angled the edges here. That way whenever the welding leads come out, they don't scrape the uh, coating off the welding leads. Super satisfying. That's gonna be it for this video, but just know the final reveal of this welding bed, I will have a lid made for this, a locking lid, because the customer did want locking lead wells, which is a very good idea when you're traveling as a pipeline welder, especially if you ever have to stay in a hotel. Thank you for coming along with us today. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something. Like I said earlier, for more helpful resources, check out our website, arosswelding.com. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and remember, learn something every day.